Estrogen and blood pressure, what's the correlation? Well, hold on tight, buttercup, because this is gonna get complicated. The short answer is it's going to depend how estrogen affects your blood pressure. So let me tell you a little bit about the history of this type of problem. When you hit a certain age, your body is not gonna produce estrogen and progesterone as much. And the thought process initially when hormone replacement therapy began was that it was the estrogen. Women get hot flashes, they get uh, mood swings, the risk of osteoporosis goes up, Alzheimer's goes up, vaginal atrophy can happen. Ugh, wow. And of course, once you hit menopause, the risk of heart disease goes up. The thought process was that if estrogen is going down and heart disease is going up, then if we just replace estrogen in the body, then all those problems would go away. Now the problem with this line of thinking and they eventually discovered this was that just because something is happening at the same time doesn't mean it's causing it. So it's the causation versus correlation type of argument. And so when hormone replacement therapy first started, it actually improved the risk of osteoporosis. It actually improved mood swings. It improved the hot flashes. So because it was treating those symptoms, of course, everyone was happy, probably the husbands especially. Except, oops, there was a problem. Endometrial cancer, breast cancer, colon cancer. All of a sudden, as time went on, it was discovered that while they helped the hot flash symptoms, all of a sudden people were getting a higher risk of developing cancer. So that's when they combined progesterone with the estrogen, the line of thinking there was, well, we goofed up with the estrogen, but now let's, let's combine progesterone and suddenly, hey, we're successful again. Now, of course, no one wants hot flashes. Nobody wants osteoporosis or vaginal atrophy and Alzheimer's. So people are very into the hormone replacement therapy. But as it relates to heart disease and high blood pressure, unfortunately, if you Google it, the studies are mixed. Some studies actually say it's gonna improve your risk factors for heart disease. Others say it does the exact opposite. And of course, it's very confusing as a consumer when there are mixed feelings and one study says one thing, the other study says the other. Who are you supposed to believe? And of course, then there's the thought process that it depends on the individual. And that's the greatest statement any study could ever say, is that if a person does not have a uterus because they had it removed, or they had breast tissue removed, then the risk factors for those types of problems goes down. If there's no family history of uterine cancer or breast cancer, then the risk of taking hormone replacement is probably safe. As it relates to heart disease, some people notice that when they go on hormone replacement therapy, their, their heart risk factors go up and their blood pressure goes up. Others don't notice it at all. So currently, as of now, the thought process is that you're doing hormone, hormone replacement therapy for your symptoms of hot flashes and some benefits. If you have high risk factors for heart disease, probably not a good idea. If you can start the medication sooner rather than later, it tends to have better outcomes. Constipation, lack of sleep, muscle pain, migraines. How much longer do we have to suffer? Why aren't we taking magnesium supplements? 70% of people are not getting enough magnesium in their diet because they're either limiting the amount of food that they're eating or they're limiting the types of food that they're eating. If you were eating broccoli, you'd have to eat 21 cups of broccoli to get 400 milligrams of magnesium. You'd have to eat two and a half ounces of pumpkin seeds, five ounces of almonds, or three cups of spinach, all equal 400 milligrams of magnesium. And unless you're eating like that, that is why we benefit so much from taking magnesium supplements. Now you could do whatever you want, take whatever magnesium supplement that you want, but the one that I have been using is from Bioptimizers. It's this one called Magnesium Breakthrough, and it is awesome. I simply take two 
tablets at nighttime before I go to bed. It supplies 500 milligrams of magnesium. It's got seven different types of magnesium in it. Magnesium helps support our health. It helps our heart. It helps our muscles. It helps us sleep. It helps with people with headaches. It helps a ton of things and helps support our body in its natural healing. Bioptimizers is the sponsor of this video, so I will put their link down below in the description, and also there will be a discount code.